For the break, we asked you if you knew what was one of the worst things you could do if your dog gets sprayed by a skunk. So Mike, what would you do? Is it the worst thing you could do? What would you do? Well, I, I have always heard you bathe them in like uh, tomato juice and that would take the, the smell out. I, I don't know, so. Okay, well, de-skunking is one of the many things the experts at Pup Town Spa can help you with. But you don't just need to call them in a stinky emergency. They specialize in bringing a doggy spa day right to your doggy door. We had Coda, she's a first time client with us. She's 12 years old in November. She's a rescue from Snipsa. Uh, they call her Coda the Wonder Dog. Start by trimming her nails, then we clean her ears. If they're not, the, the dog isn't letting their owner uh, trim their nails, then the best thing to do would be to take them on daily walks to have them naturally uh, file their nails down. We brushed out her undercoat. Um, got her into the bathtub, did her shampoo. So if they're struggling to give their dogs a bath, there's a few tricks that they can do. If, if they can get their dog secured in the tub, they can use something like uh, peanut butter on the walls to keep them distracted. If they really can't do it, then the best way would be a, a waterless shampoo. So they can get a waterless shampoo. It's not gonna be 100% clean the way a bath would be, but in between grooms or um, in the meantime, before that you can get, have someone help them, the waterless shampoo is gonna help remove debris, it's gonna help them smell better, it's gonna make their coat a lot shinier. I found a mobile grooming company in Houston, and I absolutely loved it. I love the freedom, I love the relationships that you build with the dogs and um, I knew that it's something that I wanted to do. So when I moved to San Antonio, I continued to work for other people, kind of learn the business, and then my mom helped me invest in the first van. So it's really like a family thing. COVID has actually spiked our business. Uh, it's been much more business than we can actually handle, so that's why we're getting our, our third truck. Before, we would probably get like 10, five to 10 phone calls a day. Now we're getting 20, 30 phone calls a day. It's just more than we can even answer sometimes. I mean, we're completely booked. We, we do about six, seven dogs a day, it's as much as we, we can get in. I'll, sometimes I'll go in the late evening and squeeze in another dog. The water that we put in the van is soft water, it's filtered water, so it's, it's not harsh on the dog. In the package, they get the shampoo, they get the leave-in conditioner, we blow dry, brush out the dog trim the nails, clean the ears, fragrance and bandana. Um, and that's included in every package, unless they want to get the haircut, or if they just want like face feet and sandy, then we can do that as well. Upgraded shampoos like whitening shampoo, oatmeal shampoo, flea and tick shampoo. We do skunking treatments, um, so if the dog comes, yeah, if the dog gets skunked, so if we have a special shampoo that helps to remove that odor. It doesn't completely remove it, it just depends on what the parent does at home and how fast they can get to us. Don't put water on the dog. They have to get either the special shampoo, um, it has like, it's like oil based, so it helps to remove the oil because once they put water on the dog, it like sets the smell in, it starts to go into their pores. And every time the dog gets wet, that smell starts to come out and it takes months for it to come out. There's a shampoo that says skunking, specifically skunking on there. Um, there's an at-home remedy. People can make uh, dish, dawn, dish Dawn soap, baking soda, and peroxide, and mix that together and put that on the dog before they put any water on the dog, but definitely don't put water on the dog. And that's where people kind of um, mess up is they put water on the dog and then <laughs> it, just, it smells bad. <laughs> yeah, it's the first instinct, yeah. Coda was really, really good today, so. I'm really happy about that. The pet spa coming here has just helped her out with her anxiety and it's just such a great service for an older dog to have a little bit more, you know, just some personal personal touch there. Love the process. It's so easy, great. They're they're always great and efficient and Coda looks great. It's perfect. She looks so happy when she has a nice haircut. Coda's a queen, she deserves it. Like I have a client that I groom her at dogs every two weeks and they know me by name, so she'll tell them Priscilla's coming, Priscilla's coming, and they get really excited. And there's other people who they tell their dogs, oh, Priscilla's coming, and then they get scared. It's really interesting to see how, how quick they learn, and they're just so smart. No so, water. No water. So just remember that in case your dog ever gets skunked. And it was that Dawn and baking soda, soda and, and hydrogen peroxide. peroxide. Mm -hmm. So Pup Down Spa is, you know, Busy, busy, busy. So the best way to book an appointment is to text them, but you can also sign up on one, uh, of course, on their website for all the information. Just head to ours and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
All right, still ahead on SA Live, we head back to the bread box. So I hope we get samples to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. They've got a special dessert you've got to see to believe. Well, it can be difficult to get the entire family off of their screens and in one room. So what better way to bond and spend some quality time together than a little friendly competition in family game night? We love doing it. Danica McAdam with Chic Exacts joins us with four fun game ideas. Good afternoon. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for having us on the show. Yes, we've got some fun games for family game night. We've all been cooped up the last few months in quarantine or under some kind of a lockdown and it's it can be kind of challenging to have a little extra fun at home, but we've got several games. So the first one I want to start with is Hasty Baker. This is a fun game for the entire family, and it's really the kind of game that engages the kids to get into the kitchen. And it's got red cards and blue cards. Now the red cards are your recipe cards, and then the blue cards are your ingredient cards. It's really a race against time, hence Hasty Baker. So your recipe cards are all different kinds. This one's cupcakes, and then you've got your ingredient cards. So your ingredient cards will have butter, flour, sugar. And then once you start matching the ingredients with the recipe, that's when you win. Your goal is to get five recipes. And once you reach five recipes, that's five points. That means you win. The next one, Pando. I was reading the description about this. This sounds like it could be really fun. Oh yeah, this one's fun. It kind of looks like a trivia game, but really it's the kind of game that you want to play with the people who you think you know, or the people who think they know you. So they ask fun questions, these type of questions. Am I affectionate? <laughs> Name something I want, but can't afford. So these games, this one's super fun, and this one's only $25. All these games are very, very reasonable. Hasty Baker's 20 bucks. The other fun one that we have, Mike, is the Adventure Challenge. This one is so perfect for the family. It's more of a special type of game. There are no cards, so to speak. It's really more of a scrapbook. It's made out of cardstock. Check this out. And you scratch off different ideas of an adventure. And you can see here they have these gray patches. That's when you take out your lucky penny. <laughs> and this one, it even tells you, this might cost you three to $10. You have to do it before dark and it could take one to two hours. And then you scratch off <laughs> the challenge of the adventure here. You go out on your adventure, you get to play the game or do whatever it is. One of the ones we tested out last night was it asked us to pile up cups and pillows, anything you could find and do like a domino effect across the living room and then set it off and launch it. The goal is afterwards, you create some fun memories, right? And then you snap a photo, hence our giant camera right here. That <laughs> snap sounds a great. photo and eventually have it printed out and keep it in here. So it really becomes a book of memories. Where can people find more information? You can always go to our website there at Chic Execs. We're gonna have all of our clients listed and all of their fun family games. Great ideas, Danica, nice chatting with you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Nothing like family game night, so. All right, let the games begin. They sent us all the games, well, you know, a few of the games you just saw, and even a bonus one, including Unstable Unicorns right there, which is two to eight players. You can build a unicorn army, you know, out of this card game, 30 to 60 minutes of play, and ages 14 and up. But the one that really kind of got me, and you heard that in the interview, is this one, Pando, the trivia game about us. It says trivia about me, trivia about you, trivia about us. And the whole deal is they have these cards, there's three questions on them, and if you were to play by the rules, uh, you ask all three questions, and the other person, or the, the oldest person starts, and the youngest person answers the questions first of all, and they have to get all three questions right to get a point. We just wanted to pick out some of the more fun yeah. questions on here, just kind of play along. So, okay. And it's questions that I asked Fiona about me and see okay. if she knows them. All so, right, okay, okay. First of all, who is my celebrity crush? Oh, oh my, okay. Michelle Pfeiffer, Cheryl Ladd, Elizabeth Hurley, Leslie Mouton, Celia Ward, Amy Robach. <laughs> Do, should I go on? I mean, you know, I hear these names all the time. <laughs> I meant just one, but okay. All right. Um, do I check the shower for intruders before using the bathroom? No. I totally don't, but I will today because I just read that. <laughs> Some are kind of odd questions. When I sing, do I know the correct lyrics or make them up my own? 
You know the lyrics. And you you do. You know the at least the ones you've sang in front of us here. You know the lyrics. He Except the Louis lyrics. Louis. Oh, Louis, Louis. Nobody knows the lyrics to that song. Okay, here we go. Know. Here we go. He sings. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, have I ever been backstage at a concert? Yes. Who? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, have I ever flown in a hot air balloon? Yes, I would say yes. You had to. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, how much time do we have? Do we have My recommendation on this okay. game would be a bunch of That's people okay. and a couple of pictures of margaritas. Okay. Um, am I difficult to reach by phone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay. Make sure at five o'clock and you won't hear from me. Everyone days, knows so. I treat text like emails. Okay, it's like you might hear from me the next day. All right, still ahead on SA Live. The first celebrity has been eliminated from Dancing with the Stars. How it's impacting our SA Live fantasy teams. Welcome back to SA Live, oh, local bakery, oh, the bread box, we just love it. It isn't just celebrating fall, they've also got treats for Hispanic Heritage Month. Our Jen Tobias Streski helping out with a very special dessert. Jen, what are you guys working on? Yes, and obviously I'm, I'm sporting the hat because we're also talking Halloween, Day of the Dead. I have Kayla with me uh, and we are all about just celebrating fall. So earlier you saw our, the, mu the muffins, the cookies, the pumpkin streusel muffins here. But now we are gonna do some beautiful works of art. These Day of the Dead cookies, these witches pot, is it like a? Uh, yeah, little cauldron. <laughs> yes, yes. R.I.P. And then as you can see this beautiful Mexican wedding cake. You said this is very popular. Yes, it is super popular and we can do it in any cake flavor, any cake filling, strawberry and raspberry obviously are, fa are uh, most popular. But we can do any color scheme that you'd like, one tier, two tier, three tier. Got it. Okay, so she said she gets at least two to three orders for that cake a week. But you guys also do the cookies. Yes. So we're going to let you, because you know how to do it. Those flowers <laughs> look a little difficult for me to try. So All right. why don't you show us the technique that you do yes, to get those of course. flowers and walk us through it if you don't Yeah, mind. so when I do this orange one, I kind of like to pick them up so I have a good steady hand. Oh, no. It's a little stuck right here. That's okay, though. He'll come out. Okay, so I'm going to pick them up and I'm just going to kind of give them a little bit of a wrap around. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so it kind of looks like a little frilly flower. Then I'm going to give them another one right here. And you guys always make this look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to put them back down and give them some little red rosettes here. Another rosettes, let's see. How you yeah, just oh, little, yes, 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 small little swirls. I like to do odd numbers, so I'm going to give them five. And then, for some reason, this is like my favorite part, but I love these <laughs> black leaves. <laughs> so just a few little black leaves The here contrast there. on the white cookie there. Yeah. Really yeah. It's like yeah. a good choice of color. And of course, we can do these in any, any color scheme that you guys like as well. See, again, you make this look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give them a little one right there. Maybe an extra one right and here. And I noticed the little, you got the little bling. Oh yes, here. the glitter here. Yes. I have a little the black icing glitter. on me. I love that. And while she's doing that, <laughs> I'll start my little. Yeah, this part's actually pretty fun too. Look at that. And give them a little shimmer. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Look at it. It's a work of art. <laughs> now on Thank to, you. to the not so work of art. <laughs> no, you're going to do great. We'll give it a try, so you just so. need to give them a little bit of love. You might need a, oh, there you go. Oh, okay. No, that looks perfect. It's supposed to look like it's messy. Yeah, it's like going to be spilling, spilling over. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So however oh, much green goo you want. You're getting me at this baking, <laughs> you know, feels here. Okay, and then the pretty spring. See, you're a pro too. <laughs> there we go. Simple. This is something you can probably do with the kids. Oh, absolutely. Cookies from here. Yeah. Uh, well, people may not realize, I mean, you guys provide bread to yeah. restaurants all across the city. Mm -hmm. You can all bring your own wine, by the way. There's <laughs> a lovely group of people here yeah. that brought it in. <laughs> um, but all of this you can order. You can pre-order, the, they say, at least a few days in yeah. advance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For cookies, we like to have at least two or three days ahead. Um, and then for cakes, about four days would be ideal. Perfect All right. for us, yeah. Essaylive.com for more information. And again, I apologize, Fiona and Mike, but we are gonna sit here and enjoy some of these delicious goodies. Kayla, thank you so Of course, much. thank again, you for having us. Again, they're located off Bitters near 281. Back to you guys.
Jim. I would say thanks, Jim. I was going to say thanks a I lot, know. Jim. Wow. Well, I'm going to sit here and enjoy it. <laughs> anyway. Hey, last night was the first elimination on Dancing with the Stars the season, and you may remember that Fiona and I are kind of playing along here. So we each made predictions about which celebrity would be eliminated each week in our Dancing with the Stars Fantasy League. I guessed Anne Heche would be the first one kicked off. I figured Carol Baskin would be the first to go. Now, Carol was in the bottom two, so I okay. almost scored, you know, some points. But ultimately, it was former NBA player Charles Oakley to get cut first. So that mm -hmm. means the leaderboard stands at 0-0. Zero, zero. Mm -hmm. Now, after Monday's dance, we're going to adjust our teams a little bit, remaining stars, hopefully. So just because we didn't get it right, we, we're not, like, knocked out or anything like that. Oh, we were close, though. I, you know, we should get some points. It's like Dancing with the Stars. Oh, that's sort of yeah. like the new hosts of Dancing yeah. with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? So, uh, we're just any, um, okay. so I, no, I think they're going to keep Carol Baskin. She's on every promo. She's you on think she's going to go far? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. we'll find out. All right. Next, protect your home from germs with this new device. How you can get it for free. You don't want to miss this deal. Straight ahead. They're not just about solar energy anymore. South Texas Solar Systems is all about clean air right now, too. And here to tell us more is Vice President of Sales, Dan Moran. Hey there, Dan. Hey, how you doing? All right, so tell us why y'all decided to get into clean air right now. Well, we're really excited about this. As you know, the uh, state of Texas is opening up by 75% uh, for the governor. So we decided to go clean energy because we're trying to uh, eliminate that employee anxiety, also that person-to-person -person virus spread, and really help people get back to work, you know, bring that, that ease of comfort back in the office or back in the schools. So this is a great way to do it. It really helps to eliminate uh, any of the viruses that are, that are out there. Just purifies the air. So this is a great, great product. So we're really happy to introduce this right now. All right, so is this an air, air purifier that works better than say some others? Yes, it is. This is a clean surgical air uh, unit. Basically what it does, it, it cleans everything. It captures, well, number one, it captures, absorbs, uh, destructs, and then re-energizes that air. So really, really making it clean. Uh, so. There's particles out there that are out there uh, as far as viruses. They're 0.10 in, in, in micron size. So this will clean up to 99.998% of that. Also, as we know, the, the coronavirus, you know, being out there, that virus is 0.12 in size. So this unit will do the trick and really clean that air and make it safe for everyone to get back to work or just be, or, or even have these in their homes. So this is a great unit to have. So this won't just protect you from say COVID-19, but it could also help protect against other illnesses like the flu then, right? Right, right. Any type of flu, any type of bacteria, uh, fungus, anything in the air that's not clean, of course, you know, as we know uh, right now, you know, the air out there is not purified as, as we like it like it to be. So having one of these, these will definitely clean. As you see right now, this is saying the air in this room is 100% safe and secure and clean. So this is the this is a unit to have. This is the one you want to get to protect your family, protect your office, your employees, and your kids. All right. So for customers who may be thinking about going solar right now, this is a way they can get one of these purifiers, right? That's right. So with every solar project that we're selling, each customer is going to get one of these with their project. So that's going to be good. We'll come out, we'll put this together for them, get it started, get it running, and show them how to use it. I mean, it's really going to do the job. It's really going to keep their family safe. There's also going to keep the employees safe in the office. So yes, this right now is the product you have to help bring uh, the opening of this uh, state back to 100%. All right, and right now, for a limited time only, South Texas Solar Systems is giving away the Jade Air Purifier with the purchase of a solar system, so you can have clean energy and clean air. For more information, give them a call at 210-405-8628. You can also visit their website, txsolarsystems.com, and follow South Texas Solar Systems on social media. Dan, thank you so much, and stay safe. Thank you, you too. Next on SA Live, flu season's gonna be here before we know it. Hear why you should not wait to get your shot this year. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Topin Center for the Performing Arts.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this year it is more important than ever to get a flu shot. And Dr. Jason Bowling, hospital epidemiologist with University Health System, joins us today to tell us why. Good afternoon, doctor. Hi, good afternoon. So as we get deeper into flu season, why is it more important than ever to get a flu shot this year? So as we all know, we've been dealing with the challenge of COVID-19 pandemic this year. And what we don't want to see is flu virus circulating on top of the COVID-19 diseases that we're seeing. A worst case scenario would be having an epidemic of flu virus on top of this COVID-19 pandemic in a scenario that's been described by some as a twindemic. So the flu vaccine is really important to help prevent flu virus from circulating. So what I've heard from people that have had COVID, they say it's like the flu, but how are they different, flu and COVID-19? So there are a lot of similarities, but there are a few differences as well. Uh, one difference with COVID-19 as far as signs and symptoms is that people have noted some loss of taste and smell, and that's a little more specific to COVID-19 than influenza. People tend to be a little bit contagious for a little bit longer with COVID-19 than flu. But I think the biggest difference with flu and COVID-19 is that we have some treatments, including oral pills for flu, and we have a vaccine that works for flu, but we're still waiting for a vaccine for COVID-19. We don't have one of those yet. Okay, so once again, the flu shot does not protect you from COVID, but it does protect you from the flu. So you don't have a real big risk of getting both at the same time, right? And that would be, how bad would that be on your body if you had both at once? Right, yeah, that could be a huge challenge. And it's been documented that people have been infected with both flu virus and the virus that causes COVID-19 at the same time. And that really puts you at risk for having more severe illness and complications to include respiratory failure where you may end up in the ICU on a mechanical ventilator and worst case scenario, even death. Okay, and obviously it's not just important for you, but getting flu shot helps doctors and nurses too, right? Right, so it helps protect you, but also importantly, it protects other people, including healthcare providers, it helps protect people that are at risk for complications from the flu. It also helps to protect our resources. We wanna make sure that we have hospital beds and medical care available for the people that do need to be in the hospital. And so protecting yourself from the flu is one way to prevent use of resources that could be avoided. Okay, and now the flu doesn't necessarily, the vaccine doesn't necessarily cover all strains, right? There might be some uh, weird strain that comes in here, but it's the most common strain this year, correct? This year, it looks like they have a fairly good match. They always try to match it in advance. There can be some changes. Most flu vaccines will have either three or four vaccines covered uh, to try and cover the bets, so to speak, to make sure that we have a good match between the circulating strain and the strain that's in the vaccine. Okay, great information. And for more information, you can call University Health System at 210-358-4000 or visit the website, universityhealthsystems.com. Dr. Bowling, great information. Thank you. Nice chatting with you. Thank you. Nice. Thanks for having me. Tomorrow on SA Live, roast, toast, Ooh. and boast. It's an all new Elder Eats serving up quality wood fired comfort food from a new restaurant that is perfect for fall weather. And we take a big adventure out to the Hyatt, Hill, Hyatt Regency Hill Country Resort and Spa. Fiona gets a pedicure, Chen floats the lazy river, and I bust my tail on a surf. That's all tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Earlier, we asked which fall flavor do you like more, apple or pumpkin? Lisa Ann says pumpkin. Paula says pumpkin empanadas are the Ooh. best, but then again, caramel apple sangria is pretty good too. I have never had that flavor of sangria and now I'm very intrigued. Wash down the empanadas with that. Pumpkin frappuccino, yummy, yummy, says Shay. Hmm. Hey, earlier we were talking about some family game night, new games, Pando, and it's the questions and it's what, you, you know, trivia about yourself. Mm -hmm. So this question is, name something I'm addicted to. eBay. <laughs> I could say Hallmark movies. Too. Oh well, Hallmark movies too. Kind of not well, sort of eBay. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, right. you're eBay. <laughs> uh, How about you? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do I play golf? <laughs> no. Read the top one. On <laughs> Name a secret I left in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow.